Hello everyone, welcome to Pick Up Thai channel. This is Miki Chichaya. If you're planning a trip to Thailand, this video is perfect for you because in this video, I'm going to teach you 10 most useful Thai phrases to use on your trip. The phrases I'm going to teach you are taken from our newly released ebook, 365 Must Know Thai Phrases for Everyday Conversation. So if you want to know more useful and practical phrases, make sure you check it out at this link below. We have samples available for you to download and learn for free. The book is not only for travelers, but for anyone learning Thai. Alright, now let's get started. The first phrase you should learn is Sawaddi. We use it for saying hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and even bye. So you can use this phrase all day, both after you see someone and right before you part with them. If you're a guy, add the word krap at the end. If you're a woman, add the word ka at the end. Sawaddi krap and sawaddi ka. Make sure you add krap or ka at the end of every sentence when you speak Thai in order to sound polite. When we greet someone with sawaddi, usually someone who's older than us or someone we want to show respect to, we will put our hands together and place them in front of our chest and not our head as we say it. It's a part of our culture. It's called why. If you have a Thai wife and meet her parents, you should definitely do it. But as a tourist, you may not be in a situation where you have to do it. But it's always nice to do it back if someone does that to you. The second phrase you should learn is how to say thank you. We say Kop Kun. Don't forget to add the polite particles. If you want to say thank you very much, add Mark at the end. It simply means very much. Kop Kun Ma Krap for a guy and Kop Kun Ma Ka for a woman. Now that you know how to say thank you in Thai, you should also learn how to say sorry and excuse me in Thai. And we use the same word for both expressions, which is ko tod. If you're a guy, ko tod krap. If you're a woman, ko tod ka. This phrase is really useful. You can use it to apologize to someone or um, to call someone's attention when you approach them to ask a question or when you want someone to step aside and open space for you if they're standing in your way or to, um, to call the waitress at the restaurant. The fourth phrase you should learn is Ni Tao Rai. Ni means this one and Tao Rai means how much. So this is a phrase um, you want to say when you want to ask the price of something. Talking about price, you should also definitely learn how to say at least the numbers 1 to 10 in Thai. So make sure you watch our video on how to say numbers 0 to 10 in Thai here. The next phrase that you may need to use on your trip is Ao Anni. Ao means to take or to want and Anni means this one. You can use this phrase with a sailor when you are buying something or with the waitress when you're ordering food. It simply means, I want this one or I'll have this one. This can be a very handy phrase. All you need to do is just point at something and say, au and ni, and the seller and the waitress will automatically understand what you want to buy or order. You don't need to know the name of what you want. But in the case that you do know the name of, the, of what you want, you can say it instead of an ni, for example, if you want to order tom yam gung, which is Thai spicy and sour soup with shrimp, you can say ao tom yam gung. Another word that can be used interchangeably with ao is ka, which means can I have. So you can say either ao tom yam gung or ka tom yam gung. Next up is how to say I don't want something. You can just add the negative particle my in front of the word ao. So you can say my ao to refuse something or to say that you're not interested in what they offer you. So basically, you will say this phrase when you want to say no thanks. You can also add a noun after it if you want to be specific about what you don't want. For example, my ao ani, I don't want this one. 
The next phrase that can be really useful is "call my pet" or "ao my pet." Pet means spicy, and "my pet" means not spicy. So if you can't handle spicy food, make sure you memorize this word and never forget to say it when you order food in Thailand, because most of our food tends to be spicy, but Almost everything can be made less spicy or not spicy if you make the request. Sometimes you may find that the food is still somewhat spicy, even though you request not spicy. This is because the Thai's idea of not spicy is different than yours. Something that's spicy for you may not be spicy to us at all. So if you want to be 100% sure that your food is not spicy, use the phrase. My say prick instead. Say means to put. Prick means chili. So my say prick basically means no chilies. You can use the phrase my say to ask to leave some ingredients out of your food. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, say my say n e a s a t for no meat and my say k a i for no eggs. If you're allergic to nuts, say my say t u a But if you want to be specific, say p o m p e t u a p e means to be allergic to something. So p o m p e t u a doesn't just mean no nuts, please, but it literally means I'm allergic to nuts. p o m is I for male speakers. If you're a woman, say chan instead. Chan p e t u a The next phrase that I like to teach is what to say when you get on a taxi. Usually, we just say "by," follow with the name of a place that we want to go to to the driver. Um, for example, "by JJ Market" to JJ Market. The word "by" means to go. The next phrase is definitely something you're going to use every day, and that is how to ask where is the bathroom in Thai. We say "Hong Nam Yu Nai." Hong means room. Nam means water, so Hong Nam means bathroom, restroom, or toilet, and Yu Nai means where. You can use the structure of a noun followed by Yu Nai to ask where something is located. ATM Yu Nai would mean where is the ATM. r o n g r a m Holidays in Yu Nai, where is the Holidays in Hotel. r a n Blue Elephant Yu Nai, where is the Restaurant Blue Elephant. r o n g r a m means hotel, and r a n means um, restaurant or a store. The last phrase you may find useful is "Pood p a s a a n g r i t d a i m a i which means "Can you speak English?" "Pood" means to speak. p a s a means language. a n g r i t means English. And d a i m a i is a question word meaning can. So if someone talks to you in Thai and you don't understand, you can ask if they can speak English or ask them to speak to you in English by saying this phrase. To say I don't speak Thai, say ผมพูดภาษาไทยไม่ได้ if you're a guy, and ฉันพูดภาษาไทยไม่ได้ if you're a woman. ภาษาไทย means the Thai language, and May die means cannot. You can leave out the word p a s a if you want. Don't be confused with may die and die may. May is a negative particle, and may is a question word. The difference is the tone. May, may. All right. I hope you find this video helpful. If you want to learn more phrases, make sure you check out our ebook. 365 must know Thai phrases for everyday conversation at this link below, um, and don't forget to download the free sample pages. You will learn many more useful and practical phrases to use on your trip and to talk to the locals. I'm sure it will help you make a deeper connection to our culture and a great experience visiting our country. Before you go, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Last but not least, enjoy your trip and have a great time in Thailand. สวัสดีค่ะ